People often ask, what is the site command or site operator on Google? This is a little nerdy sort of trick you can use to learn what does Google know or think about your website. Let's investigate. Okay, I've built out a little landing page which you can get to in the YouTube uh, description. And uh, let's investigate what the site operator or site command is on Google. Now, technically, the nerd term for this is site operator, but people often use the term site command or site colon or something like that. So first of all, like what does it do? So I've built out the searches for you and you can check those out yourself by clicking on the links. So the first thing that it does is you type in site colon, so S-I-T-E colon, and then your domain, in this case, uh, jm-seo.org, but it could be site colon cnn.com or you know yourwebsite.com, whatever. The important thing here is no space between site colon and the domain. So that's what the operator is. What it tells you is, does Google know about your website and how many pages? So for instance, if we check out Twitter, so it's site colon twitter.com, you can see there's 962 million uh, tweets or pages on Twitter that Google knows about. So that's the first kind of just very basic stuff. Now, but wait, there's more. What I find um, in the nerd community is they don't really explain, you know, why do you want to use it? What are you going to get out of this as you optimize your website? So let's dig a little deeper. Okay, so what do you learn? First, you learn the quantity. So when you look at site colon jm-seo.org, you can see here 638 results. So it's a way to tell you for any website how many pages are indexed. So you can put in site colon cnn.com, right? And you can see the number of pages. Obviously, the more pages you have, the more important your website, the more um, entries, as it were, you have in the Google search uh, auction and the ability to win. So that's the quantity and you want to make sure that you're actually indexed. The next is the frequency, like does Google come back to your website uh, for content? Because we want Google to come back to our website frequently. So for instance, you can search site colon jm-seo.org, so my website, your website, click on tools. And then over on the left, then you'll see these different time horizons and you can go past year, past month, whatever. So in general, right, you want some new content as, at least once a month being indexed by Google. And this tells me that Google has indexed uh, a blog post I wrote a couple weeks ago about Google ad credit. So that's your frequency. Is it coming back to you? And again, kind of diagnostically, whether you're uh, getting indexed or not, and then you have action items if you're not being indexed. Now, the next thing you can do is you can find out if a specific URL is indexed. So, for example, I wrote a uh, blog post on Google Ad Credits because Google is giving away some free money during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and I want to make sure that that's in Google and has the opportunity to rank for some of those searches. So I wrote the blog post. Now then what you can do is take the URL and you can just copy that URL. So I copy the entire URL there from the address bar. And then I go over to Google and I type in site colon and again, no space and paste that URL. So it's site colon, no space, the URL and hit enter. And that way I can see that that is in there. Now let's say I'd written a different blog post and the URL was something like this, right? You'll get this result. That tells you, uh-oh, it's not in the index. And now you have an action item such as using Search Console to go tell Google to index the content. So you can take a specific URL and see um, whether you're indexed. So the fourth thing you can do, you can compare your www versus your non www format. So most of us want what's called a preferred domain, a preferred structure. So in my case, my preferred structure is www, and you'll see that, right? And you can see here 638. Now I can go here and I can put in the www version, it's hard to say, 
and that's 685 versus 638. So there's a little discrepancy, but I want this one to be the bigger. I wanna make sure they're almost the same or close to, so sort of good enough. If this is radically different, one format is 100 and one format is 10,000, and that's not the format you want, then you know you have a preferred uh, domain problem with Google. So that's another nerd thing you can do. So this is the four kind of basic things that you can learn about your website using the site operator or site command on Google. Finally, I think there's a cool thing you can do that is relevant for your SEO activity. You can use it to query Google, what is my strongest page for a given keyword? So I'm gonna write a website, I want a certain page to show up for cat insurance, I want that to be my landing page. I can kind of query whether I've got that structure set up correctly even before I actually rank. So for instance, so I have a very popular page where I just kind of explain how do you get free coupons from Google for Google Ads, and I've optimized that for SEO, right? And I wanna know, I want this page to be my strongest page for the phrase AdWords coupons or Google Ads coupons. So how do I check that? So of course I write the page, get the page index, yada, yada, and then I take the site colon command, site colon jm-seo.org, and then put in the phrase or the single word that you want, and you should see the page that you want to rank as number one for that uh, search query. So this tells me that this page that I wrote is the strongest page on my website for the query AdWords coupon. So I know that my on-page SEO is in good order for that. So nerd alert, these are the things you can do with the site operator or site command on Google. It's a wonderful little nerdy way to query Google, uh, whether you're getting indexed, the quantity of indexing, the time horizon of, of your indexing patterns, whether a specific URL is in there, your preferred domain, and finally your strongest page for a keyword. So it's a wonderful nerd uh, tool, and a lot of people don't even know it exists, but now you are deputized as an honorary nerd. So hashtag thank you for watching.